And now you have a integrated system which in three steps separates the lithium, purifies it and concentrates it. And that is another big differentiator and what uh, really drives the cost of the technology much lower compared to anybody else. Despite their ever-growing popularity, EVs still have one massive issue. They're extremely expensive to buy. The biggest reason why EVs remain so costly is the fact that their batteries rely on rare earth materials, making the production process both expensive and complicated. However, thanks to the Chinese automotive giant, BYD, EVs are about to go through a true renaissance, as the company just announced their all-new battery type that will completely outclass lithium-ion batteries. So, let's explore explore the all-new battery technology that is silently changing the world. Why are regular batteries so expensive to make? As we all know, most EVs nowadays use lithium-ion batteries, with a few exceptions. This is because lithium-ion batteries, at least compared to preceding technologies, continue to harness an incredible potential that is yet to be fully reached. They're incredibly powerful, have an exceptional capacity, and perform quite well in both hot and cold environments. However, for all the good, lithium-ion batteries rely, as their name would suggest, primarily on lithium, which is a rare earth element. Lithium exploitation and mining is an incredibly expensive process, as it requires specific machinery and technology that allows for effective excavation. Furthermore, lithium banks are scattered all around the world, which means that they oftentimes need to be transported from one end of our planet to another before the production process even begins. This, of course, further increases the total price of production. Not to mention that the production process also requires several other rare earth materials, the most notable of which is cobalt, which is oftentimes used in combination with lithium as a cathode material. And if that wasn't complicated enough, the electrolytes in the vast majority of lithium-ion batteries are liquid, which means that they need to be poured into the battery. This is a zero-tolerance process, as even a minor mistake can lead to catastrophic results, especially since lithium-ion batteries are known for their tendency to spontaneously combust. So, all in all, it is both excessively convoluted and, as a result, an incredibly expensive process. It's therefore not surprising that manufacturers keep seeking different battery technologies that would both simplify the process, while also mitigating the reliance on rare earth materials in general. However, no matter what, none of these battery types could ever move away from lithium due to how incredibly efficient it is. None of them, except for BYD's new battery, which begs the question, what even is this all-new battery type? The battery types that BYD has been working on are sodium-ion batteries. Yes, sodium, as in the key element of salt. Sodium-ion batteries have been proposed as a possible alternative for lithium-ion batteries back in the early 2010s. The concept itself dates even further back, all the way to the 1970s. To put it simply, sodium-ion batteries have always intrigued battery manufacturers because they promise to completely remove the faults of lithium-ion batteries, as well as other popular battery technologies. However, the technology behind them was simply way too underdeveloped to make them a viable replacement for lithium-ion batteries. Not to mention that the production of said batteries was, still, very complex and unexplored, making them not economically viable. Thankfully though, times have changed, and nowadays, sodium-ion batteries show a lot of potential in terms of usability. Not to mention that the production process of these batteries has been considerably simplified, which allowed for a possible exploration of them. Out of all manufacturers, BYD has stepped up and decided to be the first manufacturer that decided to deeply explore sodium-ion batteries, as they truly believe that their potency far outclasses lithium-ion batteries. But speaking of the salt battery's potential, it's time for us to answer, what are the benefits of shifting to sodium-ion batteries? Quite a lot, to be exact. First and foremost is, of course, the aforementioned fact that they have the potential to be exponentially cheaper than lithium-ion batteries. This is because sodium-ion batteries almost eliminated all need for rare earth materials, 
most notable of which is, of course, the complete absence of lithium, which has been replaced by sodium, which can easily be extracted from salt. Salt, as we all know, is extremely plentiful, as it can be both mined as well as extracted from the sea, which is considerably cheaper and incredibly simpler than processing lithium. This means that, first of all, car manufacturers will have access to considerably cheaper to produce batteries, while also making them at a much faster pace. Not to mention that, since we have an almost endless supply of salt that is readily available, which means that there is no way that we could deplete salt. And even if there was a possibility, salt, unlike lithium, can be lab-made. You see, salt is one of the simpler chemical compounds, and can be made using sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Apart from the production simplification, sodium-ion batteries also have a bunch of real-world virtues over regular lithium-ion batteries. For one, they're much more thermally stable, which makes them considerably more reliable than lithium-ion batteries in extreme temperatures. And by reliable, we mean that there is both a lesser chance of thermal runaways and them catching fire, while also being much better at retaining their charge during extremely low temperatures. Not to mention that they also provide greater potential in terms of energy efficiency and fast charging, making them even more appealing to the car industry. And you know what's the kicker? These aren't even the most important reasons why the entire industry keeps seeking an alternative to lithium-ion batteries. Oh no, an even bigger reason is the fact that lithium mining and production is, without a doubt, one of the most environmentally toxic processes currently. Many people argue that the extremely convoluted way that lithium-ion batteries are made, which includes extremely complex processing of the material, makes it even more polluting than regular petrol-powered vehicles. Since the acquisition of sodium is much simpler, faster, and in turn much cleaner, by switching to sodium-ion batteries, we'll be eliminating the previously mentioned issues almost completely. With that decision, EVs will have come closer to their ultimate goal of being completely zero emission. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, sodium batteries can also be recycled much more easily than lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries were, up until recently, completely incapable of being recycled, which left us with exorbitant amounts of toxic battery waste that cannot be scrapped. Sodium batteries, on the other hand, can be recycled and reused virtually completely. Plus, even if they couldn't be recycled, they were still made out of sodium, which is much less polluting than lithium. Not to mention that sodium batteries are much easier to degrade and decompose than lithium-ion batteries, making them an even greater option in terms of ecology. But if they were first conceived nearly half a century ago, and since they show so much more potential than regular lithium-ion batteries, it would be only logical for us to ask, why weren't they adopted earlier? Well, admittedly, there were a few glaring issues that sodium-ion batteries faced that simply left quite limited in terms of real-world usability. First and foremost, sodium-ion batteries simply aren't long-lasting, especially not when compared to lithium-ion batteries. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, which have a life cycle of over 10,000s charges, sodium-ion batteries can only reach 5,000s charges, making their lifespan quite shorter. However, that's not even the worst part about their life cycle, because you'll need to be prepared to recharge these batteries quite often. Compared to lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries have considerably less energy density, which, in turn, leads to them having considerably less energy capacity. This, of course, results in sodium-ion battery-powered vehicles having much less range than their lithium-ion-powered counterparts, which in turn means that the vehicle's battery will effectively have an even shorter life cycle well, it's either that, or you'll have to deal with a very cumbersome battery, which will hamper the car's drivability. Thankfully though, BYD has managed to work around most of these issues, and at least mitigate them. First of all, their prototype batteries have already massively improved in terms of energy density, which allows them to be only slightly less efficient than lithium-ion batteries. According to BYD, their least potent sodium-ion battery will be able to achieve somewhere between 150 and 200 miles, which is more than plenty for a city car that it's designed for. Furthermore, they also guarantee that the lifespan of these batteries has also been massively improved upon, to the point that you, realistically, won't see the difference between it and lithium-ion batteries. And as we've already mentioned, sodium-ion batteries are considerably cheaper than lithium-ion batteries, which means that they'll also be far less expensive to replace too. 
But we've up until now only talked about BYD's prototype versions of the battery, which begs the question, will we see ever a production sodium ion battery? Believe it or not, the question we should be asking isn't if we're going to get sodium ion batteries, it's when we will get them. And the answer to that is very soon. Why is that? Well, because BYD recently announced that they've partnered up with Huai Hai and started making their first ever sodium ion production plant. This all new production plant, which will be located in Shuzhou, won't be a small project either, as BYD also announced that they plan on completely phasing out lithium ion batteries in the next decade in favor of sodium ion batteries. As of now, the plan itself will be making batteries for the BYD's smaller models, such as the BYD Seagull, once the batteries start being made. With that in mind, according to BYD, their sodium batteries are expected to enter large-scale production either later this year or, in the worst-case scenario, in early 2025. Oh, and if you aren't sold on the fact that sodium ion batteries are the future, the fact that other big car manufacturers recently also started investing tons of money into it should sway you in a different direction. The most notable car maker out of all of these is, by far, Volkswagen. Believe it or not, they have partnered up with Yiwei, a new electric vehicle manufacturer that's part of the Jack Group. Together, they managed to develop the first ever mass production ready sodium powered EV beating out even BYD at their own game. Their all-new Super Minai, the Yiwei Huaxianzi, embodies all of the virtues that sodium ion batteries bring to the table. That's a fast production rate, which was a result of simplified battery production, and most importantly, an extremely affordable price tag. At the moment, the Huaxianzi EV's asking price starts from under $10,000, which is just incredible, even compared to internal combustion engine cars, let alone other EVs. Granted, this vehicle is very limited performance-wise, as its range and performance are, to put it mildly, incredibly disappointing, which is of course the result of sodium ion batteries still having quite a bit of issues for real-world usage. And that leads us to the problem with sodium-based batteries. Despite their issues being mostly mitigated, sodium ion batteries are still not expected to fully replace lithium ion batteries. While they offer sufficient range and power for commuters and city cars, sodium batteries still aren't cut out for any serious work and performance. That said, with time and with continuous development that BYD keeps pushing, we expect them to get widely adopted in no time. But in the meantime, it's worth mentioning that Toyota started working on their alternative to regular lithium-ion batteries, and their battery offers considerably more range, power, and faster charging speeds. To learn more about this battery type, be sure to check out this video.